What clothing and equipment do I need to bring to Outdoor Ed? How do I know if it's good quality? Where do I find all this stuff? It's made out of synthetic or quick dry material. I really like my swimwear because it'll protect you from sun. We should be prepared for all weather conditions. The clothing and equipment that you bring is your safety. We've asked the Outdoor Ed instructors to share their tips and tricks for packing personal clothing and equipment. The information here is in addition to the gear lists for each grade level OE course. Although each list is generally the same stuff, there are small differences. But depending on the course length, the time of year, and course activities, these things will change. Please read your gear list carefully. All items you bring should be lightweight, compressible, and compact. Remember to label everything. If any item is left behind after a course, it will be brought to the lost and found. To acquire everything that you need for outdoor ed, we recommend borrowing items from siblings and friends as long as the fit is right. For outdoor activities, it is best to dress in layers. That way, you can add or remove a layer as you get hot and cold. Layering works best if you zip up your jacket and wear a hood. All of your clothing should be made from synthetic materials such as nylon, Gore-Tex, polyester, and fleece. Have a look at the label on the inside of your clothing before you pack it. This includes your hiking shirt, pants, shorts, pullovers, jackets, underwear, and long underwear, and even your socks. Cotton can be dangerous as it doesn't keep you warm after you get wet. This is very important. Don't bring cotton clothing! Footwear is one of the most important items. For hiking and backpacking courses, a hiking boot with a sturdy sole and good ankle support is essential. Make sure to wear your boots before the course to help prevent blisters and to make sure they still fit. You will need water shoes for courses with water activities, such as paddling or time at the beach. Paddle, water, or river shoes with a closed toe, wrap around the ankle, and have a thick sole to protect your feet. Aqua shoes are not good for OE. Old sneakers that can get wet and muddy are good water shoes. Every course will need a camp shoe. Camp shoes are basic sneakers and also work well for courses that go biking. A hat that protects you from the sun is an important piece of gear. Wide brimmed hats are good. We also recommend a hat without this button thing on top, so it's comfortable underneath a climbing, biking, or kayaking helmet. A warm hat is also important. Again, make sure it can fit underneath a helmet. A warm jacket is a down or synthetic jacket. We recommend synthetic jackets. Your jacket should be lightweight and compactable, and should always have a hood. Your warm jacket doubles as a pillow too. A fleece pullover will help you keep warm and comfortable in all weather conditions. For cold courses, like in October or April, we recommend fleece pants as well. 
When it gets cold, you can sleep in your fleece pants and fleece jacket to stay warm at night. A synthetic shirt, made mostly from polyester, is breathable and will help keep you cool while hiking, paddling, and camping. For all courses, we recommend that your pants and sleeves are long to protect from the sun, bugs, plants, and wildlife. Long underwear can be leggings or tights. If you are paddling on your course, you should bring two. One to keep you warm while paddling, and one to keep dry and wear in camp. If your course involves paddling or swimming, you should bring a swimsuit or swim shorts and a lightweight rash guard. For each course, you'll need to bring two large water bottles. Drinking enough water throughout the day is crucial to staying safe and healthy. Make sure each bottle can hold one liter of water. Bandanas are good for washing your face and cleaning yourself. Pro tip, bring two bandanas and designate one for your face only. The headlamp will help you see in the dark and help keep your hands free. Make sure to start each course with fresh batteries. For dishes, you just need a bowl, a plate, and a spoon. Don't bring too many dishes, as it can be a lot to handle. Don't forget to pack your toothbrush and toothpaste. You just need a small travel size toothpaste. Sunscreen should also be a small size. For hiking and backpacking courses, you can bring your own trekking poles. These are recommended if you have ankle, knee, or back problems. If you have these problems, we also recommend braces and athletic supports, including orthotic footbeds for your boots. For base camp courses, you should bring your own day pack. Your school book backpack works great. For expeditions, we'll provide you with your expedition dry bag or backpack. When you come to school on the first day, we'll issue these and all your other gear. For packing your base camp duffel bag, we recommend to line the inside with a large plastic bag, such as a kimchi bag or garbage bag. This will help to keep items dry if it rains. You can also put some items into Ziploc bags. Duffel bag needs to be big enough to fit all of your required items inside. It shouldn't be larger than what a student can carry. Luggage with wheels is not recommended for base camp courses. A sports or gym bag is ideal. Any prescription medications you need should be accompanied by this medication form. Please bring two sets of your medications and label everything clearly in English. Pretty blessed. <laughs> yeah. We got shelter of our pets today. 